over on Seonyudo Island in the southwestern part of South Korea, Minister of Unification Kim Myung-ho visited an abduction site for the first time. On a beach there in the late 70s, five high school students were abducted by North Korean agents. Our North Korean affairs correspondent Kim Jong-sil has this report. Families gathered at a beach on Seonyudo Island on Friday where their sons and brothers were taken by North Korean operatives. In a ceremony, a monument was unveiled depicting a wish for the safe return of the five high school students who were abducted between 1977 and 1978. Minister Kim Yong-ho has been focused on this issue since the beginning of his term, making this a priority and his personal mission. This is the first time for a Minister of Unification to visit the abduction site. The sadness felt by parents who can never forget their beautiful children who are taken away by North Korea is a universal heartbreaking sentiment. I strongly urge the North to repatriate all five of our high school students and to fully respond to the issue of abductees. U.S. Special Envoy for North Korean Human Rights Issues Julie Turner also participated in the ceremony. The United States is committed to seeking the immediate re resolution of abductee, detainees, and unrepatriated POWs. As a mother, a daughter, and a sister, it's heartbreaking for me to see the far-reaching impacts of the DPRK's human rights abuses. She said that since many of the abductees are aging, action needs to be taken urgently. I want to thank Minister Kim Young ho for organizing this ceremony for the first time at a site that North Korea hates the most. Our initial demand to the North is not immediate repatriation, but just to let us know whether our family members are alive or not. Kim Young nam was 16 when he was taken to the North in August 1977. He later married Megumi Yokota, who was abducted from Japan in North Korea. She's considered a symbol of Japanese abductees who were taken by the North. The other four teenagers were taken in pairs between August 1977 and August 1978. If all of them are alive now, they would be in their 60s. Kim Jong-sil, Arirang News.